Hello my fellow YouTubians, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to disable the Windows 10 feature from downloading on your computer. Before I start, I'd like to say thank you to my subscribers and viewers. I absolutely love you guys. I'm doing my best to get back to all your questions, so thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. You're the only reason why I continue to do this. Moving on, Microsoft is no longer asking if you would like to download Windows 10. It is asking when you want to download Windows 10. If you're anything like me, you love the simplicity of Windows 7, just like you love the simplicity of Windows XP before they shove 7 down your throat or anywhere else on your body. So today we're going to be disabling this completely. The first thing I want you to do here is click on the start button at the bottom left hand side of your screen just to show you that we are going to disable this. If you have this little or this little production icon here, it wants to install Windows updates right now, it is waiting to install Windows 10. Hell to the F and no, you are not going to install this on my computer. I'm going to show you guys that this is going to go to this is going to go away. So if you're using Windows 8, you're going to have to locate the search box and type in command prompt. But for Windows 7, you're simply going to type in CMD and hit the enter key. This beautiful black box will pop up. The first thing that I want you to type in here is services. Dot MSC. Go ahead and look over that real quick if you didn't hear me correctly and hit the enter key. Administrative prompt might come up. Go ahead and click yes. It's absolutely fine. The services that run on your computer are now going to populate and you're going to locate all the way down to the bottom and look for Windows Update. Now, before that we go disabling this, I want you to do this properly with me. Right click, go ahead and stop it. Let it run its course. Now I want you to double click on Windows Update. I want you to change the startup type here to disabled, click apply, and then click OK. Now that we have this disabled, go. you can go ahead and close out of services with no issue. Now in command prop, still open, you're going to type in the following. It's going to be MMC. Those three simple letters, you're going to hit the enter key. An administrative prompt might come up again. Go ahead and click yes, it's absolutely fine. From here, I want you to locate to file at the very top left hand side of the screen and then go to add or remove snap in. Go ahead and click that. You're going to locate down to group policy object. You're going to double click on that. In this panel that pops up, you're simply going to click the finish button. Now that we have our local computer policy under our council root, we're going to click OK at the bottom right hand side of this box. And we now have local computer policy under our council root. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this over. We can go from the middle here or the left hand side. I like going from the left hand side. So we're going to click on local computer policy. It's going to drop, give us a drop down menu. You're going to now go to administrative templates, double click on administrative templates so that it drops down for you. You're going to now double click on Windows components so it, so it drops down for you. And again, you can do this all in the middle if you want, if you prefer, but I like it on the left hand. Click on Windows or double click on Windows update on the left hand side or in the middle. This is going to populate. Now you're going to move to this only one here that says configure automatic updates. I want you to double click on this option. A box will now populate. This could be on not configured, it could be on disabled, it could be on enabled. I want you to, to move it to enabled. It was on automatically download more than likely. I want you to move this to notify for and notify for install. I'm sorry, notify for download, notify for install. Go ahead and move that to number two. Don't worry, we're not notifying Windows to install anymore. This is just a precaution just in case Windows slips by us for whatever reason because Microsoft can send in triggers from previous files, etc, etc. I don't feel like getting into that. I'll get into it with another video. You're going to simply click apply and click OK. Now that this is done, you're going to click the X at the very top right hand side to close this. Go ahead and click yes to save settings to Council 1. Simply save it where the um, file location automatically loads, which is under administrative tools. Click save and it will take you right back to your command prompt screen. Third option here, I now want you to type in control. Go ahead and look over that if you didn't hear me correctly and hit the enter key. Your control panel will now populate. If it's under large icons, small icons, click on category. It's just easier to locate it through this way. You're going to go click on system and security. You're then going to click on Windows Update. And bam, bada boom, Microsoft Windows. You can no longer automatically put anything on my computer. As you can see from that giant red X, it says hell to the mother effing nah. You ain't putting nothing on my computer. All right, <laughs> moving down to installed updates at the very bottom left hand side here, however. Click on up installed updates. It might take a minute or two to populate. Um, we're going to be looking for three specific numbers here. 
in order to disable these and uninstall these from your, my computer. The three numbers you're going to be looking for here is 2952664302 and don't worry I put this in the info box that is below this video and right above the comments so that you know exactly what numbers the, uh, these are and the most important number three 303 5583. You'll find these under the update from Microsoft. Make sure that you sort it by name here to find these a little bit easier. Once you find it, I, again, I've already uninstalled this. Uh, you're going to click on that number where it says KB next to the number, and you're going to click uninstall. Click yes. It's going to run its course. In this case, I'm going to click no because I've already done it. And once this is done, you can close out of the control panel and, like I said at the very beginning of this video, just to show you that Windows Update is are no longer automatically triggered this little yellow protection icon is now gone that's right nothing is going to be installing on my computer anymore however Windows 10 is still here as you can see from this icon it is not going anywhere so the final precaution to take the sword to the heart of Windows 10 we're going to be typing in Explorer C Windows slash system 32 backslash GWX GWX standing for get Windows 10 X being the Roman numeral 410 we're going to simply hit the enter key here it's going to open up our system 32 and where Windows 10 is located to automatically install this is the holy grail here so we're going to simply click on system 32 in our little population panel here at the top right now what I want you to do is I want you to delete it click the delete button and then click yes continue if it's asking for an administrative prompt click yes it's fine it's not a big deal at all now that is part one of the heart we are now going to take out the brain of the windows console now what we're going to be typing in here is explorer percentile winder percentile backslash sys wow 64 backslash GWX backslash now this is the second location of the get Windows 10 update go ahead and just like when our system 32 we're gonna click on syswow 64 we're gonna locate to GWX which is again is get Windows 10 we're gonna go ahead and you know what I'm gonna make two separate folders here so uh, syswow 64 GWX and I'm gonna move this one right into this folder click continue yes now it is out of my computer and out of my registry's hands from automatically triggering these updates bada bing bada boom Windows 10 is gone now again you can delete these if you don't want them I'm only keeping them on my computer because if I accidentally mess up any words from here I'm gonna to have to remake this video however Thank you again for watching this video. I can't express enough how much I love my subscribers, how much I love you guys for watching this video. Go ahead and click the subscribe button if you enjoyed, if it helped you. I'm going to be making a second video eventually on how to delete all these Windows 10 registry keys because I am Microsoft certified. So don't worry, I'm not killing your computer. I will save it for you. In this case, have a great night, YouTube, and thank you again.